got this f***ing bandage on my neck. Hey guys, um, so today's probably gonna be another one of those day in the life videos, um, just me in Tokyo. I wouldn't say it's like a typical day in the life because I am headed to a skin clinic right now to have a procedure done. Um, so that's a little bit different. I'm a little nervous just because, uh, well first they're cutting into my neck. I have like this bump that I wanna get rid of, so uh, doing that. But it's also because anytime you go through kind of a procedure here and you don't really speak Japanese natively, there might be some things that get lost in translation. Um, luckily, some of the doctors here in Japan do know some English, just like a little bit, or German, because I think a lot of the uh, medical teachings and education came from Germany. Um, but it should be okay. This guy does speak a little bit of English, and it, he was recommended to me by another doctor that I go to who grew up in the U.S. So. Um, it should be fine. Um, this is the third time I'm visiting. First time was to just a consultation. Second time was to get a blood sample to see if I can get this procedure done. Um, and then today is the day uh, that I'm actually getting it done. So um, yeah, let's go. Hopefully it goes okay. Okay, so I just got done with the procedure. Um, got this f***ing bandage on my neck. Um, it wasn't too long, like it took maybe about 15 minutes, a little bit less than an hour. Uh, they put me on this kind of bed. Uh, it was like a real operation. They put like this sheet over my face with just like this area exposed and uh, the doctor cut the bump out. Um, it's a skin bump. It's just like, I don't know, I don't even know what it was called, but it looked like a big pimple and just something that I didn't want. So I had that removed. Um, luckily, it was covered by insurance because they're gonna scan it or something and it so the total was like a little bit less than $85 US um, So that was really fortunate right now. I got to go and get some medicine But this bandage my plan was to go to Shinjuku because I have to go to a department store. I bought some pants and the um, Hem it for free. So I got to go and pick it up, but Yeah, it's gonna be weird going in with this bandage, but you know what? committed to making this video, so here it goes. Okay, so in Shinjuku now, always a pleasure to navigate that crazy station and surrounding area. I'm headed to a department store called Isetan, um, the men's department, because I got to pick up my pants now. Hopefully it's all done and ready. Um, I purchased it like a couple days ago. I think it's the first time I went shopping for clothes in over a year. Um, just with the whole pandemic and everything, like I just never really thought of buying clothes aside from like sleep clothes socks and underwear like which i don't even count um so yeah first purchase let's go get it Okay, so that was Isetan. Um, not really a place where I can bring this big camera in and 
you know, videotape myself trying clothes on and stuff. But um, I just went in, gave them the little uh, slip that they gave me the last time. They took me to the dressing room, had me try on the pants, make sure everything was okay. And it was. And so I picked it up and, you know, there's a lot of clothes that I like in Japan, but a lot of times they tend to run a little bit small because in Japanese sizes, like, I would say a large t-shirt is equal to a small maybe in American sizes. Plus um, the shoulders tend to be more narrower and my shoulders are a little bit more broad. And the length of the shirt's uh, sleeves as well as the main part tend to be a little bit shorter too. I'm not sure, it's just something that I guess Japanese guys prefer. Um, but I can't really fit a lot of that. So when I find something that looks pretty good and that I'm into, like I really consider buying it because it's not a super common thing. Um, so yeah, I picked it up. It was a brand called Attachment. Um, I think it's a Japanese brand. I'm not sure, I haven't really heard of it before, um, but the material feels really good. It's like really airy and lightweight without being too shiny. So good for me in the summer because um, it gets really hot here. But then after I picked that up, I went downstairs into the basement. Department stores have this uh, place called Depachika and it's kind of like this underground marketplace. Uh, they serve, uh, they have a market full of food that you can just buy and take home to cook or there's also uh, prepared food. A lot of people don't tell you this and a lot of people don't go, but if you ever travel here, you definitely want to check one of those places out because there's a lot of good food to choose from. Don't only eat out, consider taking out from a place like that as well and just going home back to your a hotel or whatever, Airbnb and what have you and try it out. Um, I do recommend it, it's a good experience. Um, but picked up a few things, so I'm gonna head home now uh, for dinner. But all in all, got a lot of things done today, I guess. I have this bandage still here. I think luckily the mask kind of takes attention away from this. Um, so I don't think it's noticed too much, but yeah, um, it might, hurt a little bit more tonight so i'm just gonna head home and see what happens uh thanks for sticking around today uh while i got this done and went shopping um let me know if you're interested in like clothes and stuff like that in japan i know a lot of foreigners including myself who is japanese american we have the same blood but um, it can be a little bit of a struggle to find clothes that fit in japan so if you are interested in things that i buy or anything like that just let me know um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around. See you in the next one. So is this like a unboxing or unpackaging, I guess? <laughs> so what I bought, um, they put it in double packaging, which is pretty common here. There we go. My new pants. It's pretty thin and Lightweight, ready for summer, I guess.